This is All Rats. I'm logged in at lichess.org, playing Fisher Random Chess against the computer. Tried a couple of human games. One guy didn't realize he was playing Chess 960, and the other guy didn't move. But anyway, made a couple of videos out of those, and I noticed he could play the computer at this, so since it's easy to get an opponent, I may try this, and I'm going to test it out at, uh, at its various levels. So I think it has eight or nine levels, and this says Crafty AI Level 1. If you're familiar with Crafty at all, it's a pretty strong program at its higher levels. Uh, I guess AI, AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. I don't know how strong it's going to be at level 1. We'll, we'll find out. But I'll keep playing it up to levels and try to estimate its strength the best I can for you. And I'll have to play carefully because uh, I don't want to just play silly against a computer not knowing its strength. This in initial position is very close to a regular setup, but because of the differences it isn't and opening theory kind of gets thrown out the window. So I need to castle kingside. That's what I prefer to do. I prefer to castle kingside when I can. Uh, that means that bishop is going to get out on g1. It's got to get out a little differently. Does it get out on h2 or does it get out on the g1 a7 diagonal? So like I say, there will be some fundamental differences here in a regular position, but let's go ahead and try f4. The purpose of that is I'm playing that to, to clear a line uh, for my bishop. No, who moved right away. Okay. Now my bishop does, doesn't really have a lot of scope, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm trying to get my king castled. At the same time, I have to look at other uh, diagonals and so forth and uh, get other pieces developed. So I'm going to play e3 here. The idea is, even though it doesn't expedite castling, it uh, helps secure the pawn on f4, which is unprotected, and it opens up a diagonal for my other bishop. And then, sure enough, there he attacks on g2. So I've got to cover that. I can cover it with tempo with bishop f3. Now the question is, does his queen have anything it can, any way it can menace me? Because one thing about uh, Fisher Random Chess is that it, even though every second rank square is covered by some piece in a regular game. It isn't always the case in Fisher Random. And here g2 is hanging. But I can cover it and develop at the same time. And I'll play bishop f3. Okay. Now he has played or it has played uh, queen b5. Now is it threatening anything? No it isn't. And I can develop another piece with tempo here. And that's what I'm going to do. It just makes logical sense. And then eventually, I'll play. My plan will be after knight c3. My plan will be to play bishop f2, knight g3, and castle. I'll get that done eventually. And then I just gotta get my the rest of my queen side developed, and I'm good to go. Okay, so he's not really threatening anything. So I'll just hold back and play a real quiet bishop f2, and see how he continue or it continues. A5. So what's he planning to play? a4 and a3. No, I'm not too worried about that. I'll just get ready to castle. I could also play a4 here, an anti-positional move kind of it takes advantage of the hole he's created on on b5, but I, I don't really see a way I can exploit that right at the moment. I think it's just fine to let him shove his pawn, spend his time and shove his pawn. And uh, I can always tempo his queen later with knight d5, so I'll just, oops, I'll just continue my development. I'll play knight g3. Now I'm getting ready to castle. Okay, so now maybe he wants to play knight h5 or knight h4 rather. Well, we we'll let him. I play a castle, and he, if he plays knight h4, I'll just uh, find a new square for the bishop, maybe e4, and then uh, I can probably drive that knight of his away easily enough, since I'm getting a tremendous lead in development. I don't think any plan can be bad here. And <laughs> now he goes back to f8. Okay. Level 1, we're not going to be playing you again after this, we'll, but, but I will have to test out level 2. Uh, for those of you who are new to chess, by all means play this computer at level 1, because you'll have a fighting chance. At the higher levels, it's going to kill me. But those games could be competitive. You know, I can maybe play a real long, long, long game against it, something that I want. Okay could be very instructive. All right, so now I've got to finish my development. What needs to be developed? My queen and my queen rook. So at the moment, I don't really want exchanges, although they can't hurt me. 
if I play d4 um, and he takes which or it takes which it very merry what may very well do I can take back with my e pawn, d, e pawn and I've got a decent uh, share of the center and I've opened up uh, diagonal for my queen although he's a little annoying he's a he's pressuring b2 but maybe I can find a way where uh, I can just gambit that pawn and and gain something back for it so since I have such a tremendous lead in development I think now is the time not to to stop slow playing it and try and open up some lines because when the lines open up my pieces will be the one to take advantage of those lines open lines now he's played rook a7 which really can't be all that good but he's over protecting uh, b7 so let's see how do I how, how do I want to take advantage of this position I've got a tremendous lead in development, and that's about it. I can go threaten a mate. I can play knight f at knight f5. That threatens a mate. How does he guard it? Okay, if he plays knight e6, I play d5, attacking his knight. And then if he tries g6, I just take his knight, he takes my knight, and I take f7 with check, and I've got his king exposed. So maybe now is time to put this game, this computer out of its misery and wrap this game up. I don't, may not have to complete my development. I've got enough development now. Okay, it played what I suspected. Now how does it answer d5 with g6? No. It's just going to give up the piece directly. Okay, so white wins a piece. And this can't be any good for him. Okay, so let's see. I can take on f7 with check. And uh, he takes, and I can play knight h6 check. And then he goes to g7. Or I could. Uh, knight g7 check just doesn't seem to be enough here. But he doesn't have to take with his king on f7 either. And we will have to deal with my knight at some point. So let's just go ahead and take on f7 with check and see what he does. He take with, take with the bishop. Now I'm going to go ahead and play knight h6 simply to stop him from castling. And maybe get his king exposed here. Okay. Now, White's got a nice position. White's clearly winning ahead of peace. It's just a matter of coordinating coordinating the rest of the army. Uh, how about if I play knight d5? That uh, gets my knight into play with tempo, and if he takes it with his bishop, I have a bishop in play. Okay. Uh, I can't see the knight on e5, c3 helping me anywhere else, so... Let's just try it and see what he does. Okay, so he played queen c5. Now I'll just reinforce the knight and develop my queen. Can't forget about my development. Also, I could play e4 here and tempo his queen and safeguard my knight. That looks good. Then I can play for f5 and open up a new diagonal for my queen. Okay, good. So, f5. If he takes, I take back with the knight. Oh, it's giving me another piece. This computer is bad. As I said, last game on th with this level, but try it yourself. Work your way up. Okay, I guess I've got to take the piece simply because it's offered. I mean, I don't have to take it, but I'm obligated to take it. So I'm going to take it. Okay. Now, I can attack the queen a little bit open up the F file, bishop g4. If he takes on e4, uh, there's bound to be a combination here that wins. Maybe maybe just prepare that. I'll play queen g5. I just guess the queen in play and and uh, our queen f4, he has rook f8. The idea is it threatens bishop g4 and queen and f7, possible mate. I'll play, I'll play it to g5, see what happens. b5. Oh man, this computer is begging to get beat. <laughs> okay, bishop g4, let's see what it does. 
All right, it took. Now we just need one more guy in play. Uh, and there he is on A1. Let's see how the computer handles this. And I'm pot crawling all over E7. And I think it's mate in two. No, maybe not. Let's see, rook takes E7 check. He has to play king F8. And then I have, yeah, it's mate, then queen F6. It's mate in two, computer. Sorry, but you lose. It sure looks like mate to me. What did I miss? Checkmate. White is victorious. Okay, so I want to thank you for your time by looking at this one, and I'll attempt a game at level 2 and see if this computer improves. Take care.